Hello, welcome back to our IT LAN D Nugget courses. Today, the Nugget course is around spline and the concept concept behind the spline REST API. And we covered already part one and two, which was introduction around what is spline and what are the different uh, interface behavior. And then we spoke about you know some examples. We went to part two. We uh, we dived into this example more, but however. Uh, previous uh, session we stopped at uh, uh, authentication authorization and we spoke about the uh, permissions and assigning control for today we continue with the API token based authentication using standard HTTP authorization header this is the recommended method uh, for programmatically accessing resource for example I'm going to show two examples one is getting a session key using surface authentication endpoint Again, you can use a C URL universal uh, resource locator, and that will be HTTPS localhost 8089 surface authentication logon, and then use the name and password. And the response will be the key, as you can see there. I will highlight it. This is the key associated with my session. Option number two uh, in the subsequent request, set the header authorization value to the session key, and for example, uh, CRL hyphen key K hyphen H authorization supply and the key which means we are utilizing basic HTTP authorization. Uh, Splunk also support uh, basic uh, sort of basic authentication based on the RFC 1945, and this is the mechanism for accessing resource via the web base or web browser. Some of the status code we're supposed to be familiar with, and these are the HTTP status code. So 200 requests complete successfully, 201 creating, uh, sorry, creating request uh, complete successfully, 400 error response body of details, 401 authentication failure, 402 new supply enterprise license disabled feature, 403 no permission. 404 request endpoint does not exist invalid operation for this endpoint 409 500 unspecified internal server and features disabled for 503 okay and also responses can include one of the following http status code which is the one you've seen and these are basically the uh, standard you know hypertext transfer protocol uh, and that will be http 1.1 and the definition associated with them okay more examples encoding schemes there is API support multiple encoding scheme but not all the schemes are supported by the endpoint there is API reference manual list all the code for us and you can see the documentation by spline for using XML again the scheme are CSV JSON JSON columns JSON rows raw files raw data and XML enabling and disabling endpoint you can enable and disable endpoint and you can see a very basic uh, a command list here around the URI, which is Universal Request uh, Identifier for the post. And you can see very basic example, uh, CURL hyphen K hyphen U admin pass and the uh, URL associated with it. And either disable the post and the update. And then the namespace, last part is the namespace, typically a resource that impact the search activities for end users namespace using the surface namespace with the user and app code and again another example how we can locate and share application resource using nobody for the user's node you can also access using uh, access the resource using backslash surface node like https hostname port and then backslash surface i think that's all what i had for you we got some resource here these are step-by-step -step guide, the one I was referring to earlier, documentation from supplying and the tutorial. You can make yourself familiar with these REST APIs and best practices. There are plenty of JSON templates there are available and with very good explanation and implementation, you can utilize them against your environment. And that was the end of part three. Hopefully you have learned something useful and I shall see you uh, later on with more deep dive sessions around supplying integration not only around the REST API, but supplying integration with Azure or even IWS.
S. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.